It's common knowledge that some birds only come to the UK for the summer, to nest before heading further south to spend the winter months. But did you know there are other birds that only come to the UK in the winter? In this video, I'm gonna tell you about five of those species, where you can find them, what they look like, and where they spend their summer months. The first bird to appear on this list is the largest, but also the smallest white swan that you'll see in the UK. The Buick swan is much smaller than its more common and resident cousin, the mute swan, and there are several ways to separate the two. Buick swans are around the size of a grey lag goose. They do not have the black basal knob that mute swans have at the base of their beaks, and instead of orange, a Buick swan's bill is yellow with a black tip. Buick swans breed in Siberia and begin to arrive in the UK from October onwards. They usually stay here until March, and each year around 4,500 of these birds will arrive. Buick swans are not the only migratory swan to visit the UK. Hooper swans, which are larger and mainly breed in Iceland, also arrive across the country for the winter months. However, as a handful of these birds do nest in Scotland, they will not be featuring on this list. From an all-white wetland bird to a much more colourful, albeit less predictable, winter visitor, the waxwing. These starling-sized, peach-coloured birds have a noticeable crest of feathers on top of their heads and gold and red markings on their wings and tails. They breed in Scandinavia and Russia and depending on their breeding success and the crop of berries in mainland Europe, the numbers arriving in the UK can vary greatly from year to year. Sometimes, when breeding success is low and there are plenty of berries on the continent, only a hundred or so will come to the UK. And in other years, when the berry crop fails but they've had a good nesting season, thousands, sometimes tens of thousands, will arrive on our shores. This is called an eruption year, with the birds staying from October till April and feeding mainly on rowan, hawthorn, cotton easter and roseberries. Next up is a much more regular and predictable winter visitor, the field fair. These large members of the thrush family have noticeable grey heads and rumps with mottled breasts and brown wings. They are very sociable and rove across the countryside in flocks ranging from several birds to more than a hundred individuals. Like waxwings, they mainly nest in Scandinavia and come to the UK in search of berries to see them through the colder months. Field fairs usually arrive around October and can stay until April. Each year, approximately 710,000 of these birds overwinter here. Another member of the thrush family that is only seen in high numbers in the winter is the red wing, but a few pairs of these do nest here, so they will not be featuring in this video. The next bird is in some years the most common visitor on this list, the brambling. In good years, more than 1.8 million of these chaffinch-sized birds overwinter here, but it can be as low as just 45,000. Like the last two species, they also nest in Scandinavia and Russia, but they can arrive on our shores as early as the beginning of September and stay all the way through until the end of April. Whilst here, they mainly feed on seeds and grains and they can most often be seen around farmland, parks and woodlands and will occasionally visit garden bird feeders. The final bird to feature on this list is a charismatic coastal visitor, the turnstone. I have included these in a bird you can only see in winter video, and that is mostly true. They do not breed in the UK, but they appear here in two distinct waves. Populations that breed in Northern Europe pass through the UK on their way south from July onwards, and again in the springtime heading north. Whilst birds that breed in Greenland and Canada arrive in August and September and stay here until April or May. They can be seen all around the UK coastline and get their name from their habit of quickly flipping over stones in search of invertebrates and crustaceans to eat. Well there we go, if you learned something new check out this British wildlife video and if you enjoy that subscribe so you don't miss my future stuff. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you next time.